defence mechanisms are psychological strategies used to protect us from internal conflict and to reduce anxiety. We might use defence mechanisms to protect us from feelings of guilt, anxiety or undesirable impulses. They have two primary characteristics. One, they deny or distort reality and two, they usually operate on an unconscious or hidden level. Defence mechanisms come from the psychoanalytic school of therapy and were developed by the work of Sigmund Freud and his daughter Anna Freud. In this video, I will describe seven common defence mechanisms and how they are used. 1. Projection Projection is a psychological defence mechanism that consists of attributing to others your own unacceptable thoughts, desires or impulses. For example, Peter is very controlling with his partner Sandra. Every day he checks her phone, Facebook account and emails for signs of an affair. In reality, Sandra has always been a faithful and trustworthy partner. It's actually Peter that wants an affair. Instead of acknowledging his own desires, he projects his unacceptable impulses onto Sandra. Projection keeps discomfort about himself at bay and outside of his awareness. It's categorised as an immature defence mechanism and a primitive form of paranoia. 2. Denial Denial describes the defence mechanism in which you refuse to accept that painful facts exist. For example, Chris drinks 20 units of alcohol every day. He lost his job after turning up for work drunk and has recently been arrested for drink driving. Despite all the evidence, Chris refuses to admit that there is anything wrong. Denial involves not acknowledging reality or denying the consequences of that reality. In this example, Chris is outright refusing to admit or recognise that he has a drinking problem. People with alcohol or drug addictions are often in denial. Their life can be collapsing around them, but they refuse to believe they have a problem. Denial falls into the category of defence mechanisms called pathological defence mechanisms, and it's common in psychosis. 3. Reaction formation Reaction formation describes the defence mechanism in which you unconsciously replace an unwanted or anxiety-provoking impulse with its opposite. For example, Bill is married to a woman, has homosexual impulses, but he openly criticises people that are gay. Bill is seeking to conceal his homosexual desires by adopting a homophobic stance. Reaction formation is a form of exaggerated compensation in which the person goes overboard in one direction to cover up something unwanted. It's considered a neurotic defence mechanism. Neurotic defences help the individual block feelings, desires and thoughts that would generate tremendous anxiety if they were integrated into the self. 4. Regression Regression refers to the process of reverting to an earlier and more childlike pattern of behaviour. For example, Joanna's parents divorced when she was 15 years old. This caused a lot of upset for her and she started to wet the bed and suck her thumb. Regression involves a movement back in time to an earlier stage of development. It usually occurs when you feel threatened or anxious and can happen in both adults and children. Regression is classed as a neurotic defence as the person attempts to return to an earlier stage of development rather than handling unacceptable thoughts, emotions or impulses in a more adult way. 5. Rationalisation Rationalisation is the process of inventing good but false reasons to explain your behaviour. For example, Adam is a thief, but he rationalises this by saying he only steals from rich people because they will not miss the money. Or we can look at Jake, who didn't get the job he applied for. He rationalised this by saying he didn't want the job anyway. It's essentially a form of self-deception as it cushions you from disappointment, guilt or anxiety. Rationalisation is considered a neurotic defence mechanism. 6. Sublimation Sublimation occurs when you transform your conflicted emotions or unacceptable impulses into a socially acceptable outlet. 
For example, Malcolm redirects his aggressive urges by playing rugby. Or we can look at Louise, who is recently divorced. She channels her sadness into creating beautiful pieces of art. Sublimation falls into the category of a mature defence mechanism. Now, mature defences are associated with better functioning than the neurotic or immature defences. 7. Repression Repression describes a mechanism whereby you push unpleasant or unacceptable feelings, memories or urges into your unconscious mind. For example, Amy was abused by her uncle when she was three years old. She has no memory of the abuse but struggles forming close, intimate relationships. Or we can look at Ruby, who was attacked by a stray dog when she was four. She doesn't remember the incident but has an intense phobia of dogs. Although both Amy and Ruby repressed traumatic childhood experiences, the events continue to influence their behaviour and relationships. There's a famous quote by Sigmund Freud. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. What Freud is saying is that emotions that cannot be acknowledged for fear of their impact on the mind are repressed and expressed by different defence mechanisms. Repression is actually a central component of all defence mechanisms. It's the bedrock on which all defence mechanisms are built. Now, repression is considered a neurotic defence mechanism. Although it's fairly common, it can often cause long-term problems. Now, if you'd like to find out more about the process of repression and the unconscious mind, click on the video on the screen now. It will take what you've learned to the next level and make it much more powerful. And I look forward to seeing you soon.